19 and we're at Etruria Services. We've just done the servicing and uh, we've got to go that way to wind and come back and then when we get to the junction just there we turn a sharp left and then we on our way through Stoke Locks it's uh, a pleasant morning it's about 9.30 we've been uh, on the road for about an hour to get here from Westport Lake and uh, we're all ready to go there's the uh, Brindley statue that, that you can't get at unless you're more up over there we've got some interference on the walkie talkie Oh, no, it is. Could be CRT, there's a yard here. So we've done the water, the water's full. We're just letting the uh, the deck dry out where it's overflowed. And uh, I think we're ready to go. See what today brings. That's my skipper there. She's uh, washing up. <laughs> She'll be coming out in a minute to uh, give me guidance on this manoeuvre. Here we are. Right, I'm going to go around and wait at the lock. All right. So we're just going up to the windy knoll now. And there's James Brindley. Looking out over his handiwork. It'll be clear while I'm 
boats this morning and uh, one went down before us so all the locks are going to be empty when we get there because nothing's coming up so I'm just waiting in the middle of the pan now for her to uh, set the lock it can need filling and uh, it's going to be a minute or two so just drifting in the pan the pan's on the 7 Trent uh, on the Trent and Mersey better than the ones at Bosley because they were too small as soon as somebody filled a lock the pan went down and the boat ended up on the bottom so you sat there until somebody empties the lock above you to raise you back up um, don't really want that situation again but uh, this is quite a reasonably sized pan so draining the lock or filling the lock isn't going to make that much difference to the water level She's just got to the lock now. I'm seeing, uh, yeah, she's opening the ground paddle, so it is empty. So we'll just continue to drift towards the lock. It's about 200 yards away. So once I can see, she's uh, leaning on the gate beam, I'll know to start to move. So she's just opening this side's ground paddle, she's done the opposite side and she'll be leaning on the gate beam which will open once the water level has uh, risen to that of the pound. Trend, the River Trent isn't even shown on it, <laughs> which is strange since the town takes its name from uh, the river. Yep, we're crossing the River Trent now.
arrived at Trentham Lock and it's uh, <coughs> only half past 12 and we're nearly at the day's destination so looks like we're gonna have another afternoon off like we did yesterday couple of hundred yards from Trentham Lock, back that way, we've just come through and uh, we're near the Wedgwood factory which is just there so we've pulled in and I think we're going to have a look around Wedgwood there's a visitor centre and I think there's a cafe so uh, we've decided it's now it's lunch time we'll uh, instead of self catering we'll go and have a bite to eat up there you can just see the Wedgwood factory in the distance and this bridge here leads to the Wedgwood site and I think that's where the uh, visitor centre is so we'll go and have a look at that and uh, probably call it a day now we were going to moor just beyond this bridge but, uh, we had to pull in for a boat coming the other way, so I thought, right, we might as well stop here and uh, see what Wedgwood's got to offer. We had a lovely afternoon in the world of Wedgwood and uh, the food in the restaurant was absolutely top class. And uh, following uh, lunch, we had a walk around the uh, exhibition, which was part of the V&A exhibition, which told the history of uh, Josiah Wedgwood and his uh, pottery and it was very interesting I'd highly recommend it. After we got back we did decide to move the boat uh, on a little bit and we ended up going to uh, Barlaston Visitor Moorings which was where we'd planned to stay and when we got there we caught sight of these animals just lazing around and uh, having a bit of a paddle and uh, drinking out the canal so it was a nice end to the day very enjoyable indeed.